GhostBSD is a simple, friendly, FreeBSD-based operating system. The goal of the project was to lower the entry level of using BSD on a personal desktop or laptop. This guide will offer a quick run-through on how to get GhostBSD set up on your own device. On the GhostBSD website, which is linked here, navigate to the Downloads tab, select the correct mirror under Direct Download, and wait until the download starts. The next step is to write the image to a USB stick. On Windows, this can be done with the Image Writer application. The link to download will be included below as well as on screen. Start by scrolling down and selecting the download button. It'll start automatically. Once it is complete, follow the setup wizard and open the application. The application will look like this. The first thing you'll want to do is go to the file browser, select the recently downloaded GhostBSD image, then choosing your USB drive from the drop down menu. The write button will start the process of writing the image over to the drive. If you're on Mac, Open up the terminal application, use the sudo su command, enter your computer's root password. The diskutil list command will bring up the list of connected disks. You're going to want to identify the external USB drive and make note of its location. This is slash dev slash disk2 for me. If yours is different, please make sure to change this in the rest of the commands. Next, use diskutil unmount disk, and then the location you found for the USB drive. dd if equals, and then either write the name of the image file you downloaded, or drag and drop from Finder as seen here. of equals slash dev slash disk2 or your USB drive location you found before and bs equals 1m. This will take a few minutes. Once it's complete, eject the drive using diskutil eject. On the device, Force a boot from the USB. This can be done on most computers by accessing the boot menu when first starting. I've shown a screenshot of what this might look like. Look up how to access the boot menu for your specific device and make sure that the plugged in USB drive is selected under the primary boot order. GhostBSD will then start. This may take a few minutes for the initial boot. You will have access to applications right off the bat, but you should start by clicking Install GhostBSD. Select your region and city. Choose your installation type and configurations. and then choose a root password for administrator accounts. It will then ask you to set up a normal user in addition to the root user. I'm creating a test user right now. Once installation is complete, run a full restart to save your changes. You may now log into the user account you previously set up. GhostBSD automatically gives you access to a wide variety of applications. 
Let's start by navigating to Firefox. And then using the browser to navigate to the FreeBSD Foundation homepage. If you want to use a terminal, go to System Tools, the MATE terminal, and then use the terminal as you normally would on any BSD device. I'll test it out by using the SU command as an example. Congratulations, you are now running GhostBSD.